This is to help you with the Age of the Earth's Crust project. This is a big project. It's going to use a lot of information that you learned in the past and recently, and you're going to create a CER. Now, don't be discouraged about the CER. It's just an argument. You're just answering a question. You're giving an answer, which is the C. You're showing some evidence as to why the answer is correct, and the E and the R is you explaining the evidence and why it supports your claim, why it supports your answer. So what is this project? Essentially, here's the background. You are on a team of geologists, and one geologist went out and took eight rock samples from eight different places. And they want you to figure out how old they are and to explain why the ages are what they are. That's it. So the first part is that you have these eight rock samples, and you know the composition of them here. And you have to use this information to figure out the age. These are level three questions. If you need help with level three radiometric dating calculations, just click on this link down here and scroll all the way to the bottom. That'll link you to the unit 2.1 overview. That's when we did radiometric dating calculations. Scroll to the bottom and there'll be help videos there. But once you do that, you can put your answer here. Some students wonder, what is all this, this longitude and latitude? Well, this longitude and latitude is actually the specific locations these rocks were taken from. And you should, Oh, I gotta fix that. Uh, they were taken from, you can see them on Google Earth. So if you click on that, one thing I wanna make sure that you do is, there are two versions of this project. <coughs> you are project one, you have eight locations. Make sure that you're not accidentally, sometimes it sends people there on the project two. That only has five. That will not help you on this project. So make sure you're here project one. There's eight locations. Now check it out. This is the real earth. These are where those rocks were taken. If you clicked on this location and you look down at the bottom here at the um, at the GPS coordinates at the longitude and latitude, you would see that the location matches the longitude and latitude here. So these are real places on the earth. That's going to come in handy with the second part. First part is you're going to just calculate the ages. Then I tell you to make uh, two graphs. Sorry, these locations will help you in the third part. Then you're gonna make graphs from your information. We had a content page way back in the first quarter that said, how do you make graphs? I highly recommend you use that. If you lost that, uh, you gotta find it on Canvas. It is still available, there's a digital version of it. Remember, keep all of your notes, we will always use them. You can use these questions, answer these questions to help you make that graph, and I can also help you with that as well. But now here's data analysis questions. You're going to use your data tables and the graphs and the Google Earth to answer these questions. Essentially what you're doing is these calculations, the ages of the rocks, that's one piece of evidence. Your graphs are another version of that evidence for your CER. And here, these data analysis questions are made to help you make your reasoning part. You can use the answers to these questions to make a paragraph for your R, your reasoning part of the CER. Essentially, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to look at the ages of the rocks and look at the Google Earth. The questions ask you things like, well, what is location one next to? You may have to go back and use some of your other worksheets, right? We had some of these. Uh, plate boundary worksheets. I believe this is the one that's the best one. There we go. And you can actually figure out, here's North America. Look at this. There's a boundary right here. If you compare that to this location, it's crazy because, I mean, this is real. You can actually even see this boundary here. You have to use your prior knowledge and your notes to figure out, well, what boundary is that? What's going on at that boundary? Can the ages of these locations, <coughs> excuse me, the rocks at these locations, can the ages of the rocks at these locations be explained by how close to this boundary or how far away from this boundary they are? Same with these. Is there a boundary here? Check your notes. Can that explain the ages of these rocks? So at its core, what you're doing is you're finding out, calculating the ages of rocks. You are looking at where the geologist took those rocks from, 
and using your knowledge that you have of what's going on at these locations to explain why the ages of these rocks are what they are. All right. Well, if you need help, just ask.